Okay, first official M3 wash is about to commence. I didn't consider the other one official because I kind of didn't do all my steps to it and I didn't really take my time with it that much. As much as I did, I didn't, but this time I really take my time with it, really enjoy it. Do um, some coating over the top of our final uh, obsessed garage drying aid over it like I've been wanting to. Kind of just really get into it and enjoy this. So really freaking excited guys. Let's go ahead and wash the A2 for my first official 110% wash. Let's dig it into it. For this, we're just gonna need some simple microfibers. We've got microfiber madness here. I got a rag company um, wash mitt and an Adams polishes mitt. These two are for the bottom. I like to kind of switch it up so that way I don't cross contaminate. This is gonna be strictly for the top of the car. I'll break the car in half. So I'll do like hood, roof. And then I'll kind of break it where the M3 thing is and kind of stop out right here. And that'll be the top rag. Of course, I won't do that all in one pass. I'll kind of wash the rag in between. But that's going to be that. And then we'll use other two rags to go around the bottom of the car and the front bumper and the back bumper and all that stuff. Already washed the wheels, tires, wheel wells, all that good stuff. They're super clean. So we're going to go ahead and get into washing the car. Super, super excited. For soap, if anyone's curious, we are using Koth Kim GSF Snow Foam. This stuff is really freaking good. It smells amazing and I really like it. Um, it's it's really good product. You can find this at ObsessedGarage.com. You can find it at DetailedImage.com. I don't know if you can get it off the Koth website, uh, but maybe worth a try. Stuff is really freaking good, guys. I promise you'll love it. Okay, so got both my buckets here, my wash and my rinse bucket. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to do um, during this wash process. Got my AirPods in, so they can hear me pretty well. One over here. But what I want to do is kind of just talk about the car as I'm doing this wash process. You're going to be able to hear it every single second because I'm going to be using a pressure washer. But I kind of want to talk and give some backstory and some meaning of why I bought this car and kind of what the car means to me as a whole. So let's go ahead and rinse this thing and then we'll kind of get into some detail on that. Okay, car is rinsed, car is home. We are going to start with the top of the car and work our way down. Brand new wash mitt right here. Decided to get this thing. Use it. This is probably one of my favorite wash pads. This thing is huge though. Definitely uses a lot of soap and water and stuff. It's, it's really good, really good. So diving into, um, I guess, a backstory on this car right here. Not necessarily this car, but uh, this model of car in general, I guess we could start with. Um, I've always, always wanted one of these things. Uh, it's kind of like the E46 was for me uh, back in the video game days and they had that one on the cover. Uh, blue and silver, E46 and 30, everybody knows about GTR. Uh, this is kind of one of those for me. Um, I always knew that I wanted to own one of these and I would own one of these. What kind of makes this um, special in a way is that I did not expect it in this time of my life. And I guess, you know, you kind of get the things you um, don't expect when you you get the things you want when you least expect them, I guess is a saying I keep hearing recently. So, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so backstory, we were um, just going on the auction, just, you know, passing time and this thing came up. Wasn't even watching it, hadn't even watched it before. Um, it came up for auction. And I was like, oh, that's kind of weird, you know, uh, blue. You know, I'll go, you know, we'll kind of see how this goes, Let's play it out a little bit. And sure enough, we uh, watched it, it was local. Uh, he looked pretty good deal, 90k on the car, and I was like, ah, we'll try it. And uh, bid on it, put a bid on it, just kind of walked away from the computer and was like, you know, whatever happens, happens. And sure enough, we uh, we bought the car, so uh, it's here now, obviously. So, but yeah, um, that's kind of how I got the car, but more so why I got the car is it's always been a dream of mine to own an E92 M3. This car, these cars have always been so intriguing to me. I, I love the E92 body style. I had a 335 uh, back when I was a little chap, and I love that car. Um, did a bunch of things to that car, and it kind of started my love or infused it further for the E92 platform because that car is just so cool, so good. I love the interior in it, and I just I loved everything about it. The body style, the styling of the car was just amazing. So after that, I knew I definitely wanted M3. This is uh, the only V8 M3 they've ever made and will ever make. I'm sure you guys already know that you're watching this video, but. Um, it just kind of held a special place in my heart, not so much as it being a car. It was kind of a dream of mine, an accomplished goal, essentially, that I have now. And some people, this may not be anything, you know, oh, it's just the N2M3, yes. The N2M3, it's not a Ferrari, it's not a Lamborghini, it's not nothing like that. 
um, but this has more sentimental value and accomplishment to me than those cars. Now granted, I do really want a F430. And the Grand Ferraris and everything are cool. I'm not knocking those at all. Those are awesome cars. Um, don't really have a plan to own any like Lamborghini or anything. 911 though. Definitely 911. Really want one of those. Uh, that's also another car for this. Um, that's on my goal list to get next. What a few other ones, you know. You gotta have them. You can't just have one or two. You gotta have them all lined up and everything. You gotta have goals you work for, guys. It's not just uh accomplishment thing or like to brag or anything like this i could have bought anything you know anything i want i could have bought something cooler more people like i guess i don't know i'm not doing it for anybody else i'm doing all this for myself because it's what i want and that's why we're here so sorry i kind of drove uh, around everywhere on that topic but yeah so anyway i have the na2 because it's been a goal of mine it's been something i wanted to buy i kept telling myself i was going to wait until i bought a house to buy one of these because i didn't want to daily the thing I wanted to keep it nice, not that I won't stay nice, but I just didn't want to have the daily. I didn't want to have to drive it and put a bunch of miles on it. I kind of wanted to be like, and then like a unicorn car that I buy and I'll keep the thing forever. Of course I got it. And that's still maybe what happens here. I don't know what will happen. I may keep the car for a very long time and may sell the car soon. I have no idea. I don't have a set time frame for it. I'm just going with the flow and going with whatever I feel like at that time or whatever my mind wants to do. That's kind of where I'm going to stay with that. So, yeah, so like I said, I don't know, guys. This is more of a goal for me than a car. It's a personal goal I've set for myself and I've now accomplished, and I'm very happy with it. Just because I did that doesn't mean that I'm going to just get rid of it immediately. I'm definitely going to enjoy this thing. Definitely going to keep it. I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to drive it. Plans with the car, I'm going to say, definitely going to track the car. Of course, we're going to track it. We are definitely going to do some events. We are planning to do Hyperfest this year. I can get everything worked out with uh, you know, a way down there with a truck trailer. So I sold my truck, so I got the trailer, but still on the truck. And this is the most important part of that. But if I can work all that um, in betweens out, I think we got somewhere to stay. Hindle um, seems he really wants to go. So that's definitely cool. We can get to go with him. We got that down short, some things out. We do have tickets and everything. But as far as a place to stay yet, I haven't worked out all the logistics. As far as all that goes, we'll get that in due time. So that's exciting, doing hard fast. Uh, CMP is our local track here. I've raced it a bunch of times. So we we'll definitely try to hit that a couple times with it. Uh, I just really enjoy the car, guys. And they've put some cool freaking wheels on it. Uh, put coilovers on it. Do a uh, big brake kit, hopefully. And probably just leave it alone after that. All right, what I think we're gonna do here is we're going to opt for the obsessed garage grinding aid. Got it right here. Um, we have a gallon of the stuff, so we're going to start using it again. I really enjoy the stuff. It works freaking amazing, and it helps bring some gloss and depth to the car. So let's just spray this on the panel. Uh, I am using a Car Pro sprayer here, just a little cheap sprayer, and I actually really like the thing, believe that or not. The sprayer is not bad at all. I'm actually really happy with it. Just gonna go ahead and wipe all this stuff. I hate drying a car like this. I'm so used to like blowing the car off to dry it. I feel like I'm scratching it and drilling in it when I do this. But no, I'm not. It's just like triggering me like you're touching the paint like this. I just kind of get like paranoid. I'm like, ah, I don't know if I should be doing this. But it's all good. It's a daily. It's not a, it's not a perfect car. It's not a garage car. Even though it stays in the garage a lot. It doesn't get daily. <laughs> but you know. The stuff is just great, dude. They're just like, doesn't streak, it doesn't leave any residue. I love this drying bean, it's so good. Still like bean maker, don't get me wrong, I still like bean maker, but this stuff right here is really great either. So um, if you guys want like a wash video, not that there's not 50 million on YouTube and the internet, um, I'll be having you like a wash process video explaining in detail everything that I do personally to it. Um, like I said, there's totally, I understand there's like 50 million of those things out there, but if you guys want it from Quaid's perspective, drop a comment below, let me know. I'll be happy to do that. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this first official wash it feels great, looks great. Um, it's good to be one with the car, you know, get hands on with it more so and enjoy it versus trying to rush and hurry up and wash it for an event or something. Even though we are still at Garden Coffee, I still get to enjoy it and take my time with it versus rushing and, you know, just 
not enjoying it. I love this stuff. That's what I love. And I do enjoy washing the car. It's just a first time to just relax and make the car clean. It's very satisfying. So I do enjoy it a lot. So you can spray this stuff on everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure it says on the bottle. But yeah, you can go on the glass. You can go on trim, paint. You can go everywhere with this stuff. Same with Beatmaker. Same with all these drying edge toppers. You really can go on anything with it. There she is, she's done. Her first official wash is complete. She is fully detailed, fully top coated, tire shines on, everything. This thing is gorgeous. I'm so in love with the color. I'm so happy I like changed it, put some freaking pearl in it and did some more stuff to it like I wasn't gonna do in the first place, but I decided to and I'm so freaking happy I did. This thing looks so good. It's, this thing looks so good, it's so good. Oh, I'm so happy with it. These little grills, they look freaking great right there. They match all the carbon up here. They match the lip. I really want to do a carbon roof. I don't know if we'll do it though. Um, carbon mirror caps I was going to do, but I kind of like the blue. It kind of pops and separates with the black. So I think we'll keep the mirror caps blue. But overall, guys, this thing is freaking gorgeous. I'm so happy with this car, man. I love it. It doesn't even have freaking wheels. It's not even lowered yet. Just stock form. This thing is just good. It's just very good. Oh, that's great. It's so good. It's so good, guys. It's so good. Well, this is kind of a little in-depth walkthrough of E92, the history behind the E92. Why I own the E92, not because it's a freaking E92 and I love it, but more of a sentimental reason behind it. I hope you guys understood. Probably didn't explain it well, but you get the gist of it. It'd be entertainment nonetheless. So I hope you guys really like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a like if you liked it. Leave me a dislike if you didn't. Think about subscribing. Leave me a comment below if you like this type of content. You like some in-depth looks, some backstory of Quaid's mental ideas of why I buy stuff, why I do what I do. Let me know if you like that kind of content. It's more of like just a interview type deal. I don't really know. I thought it was cool. I thought it was different. I thought you guys might enjoy it. So if you do, leave me a like. Leave me a comment below if you want to see some stuff like this. Think about subscribing. It would help out a lot. It would be great. We're almost at 2,000, guys. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe I'm saying that. We were 100. We were 500. We were 1,000. Now we're about to be 2,000. So all thanks to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Hope you have an awesome day, night, morning, afternoon. Whenever you're watching this, Hope you have an awesome time. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.